so in this lecture i'm going to explain you what are transmission lines and what are the types of it okay now the important thing is what basically the transmission line you all have seen the 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 big antennas the big towers you all know those things so those are basically the transmission line and have you seen the wires along them so there are basically certain towers which are situated at the some distance and there is some transmission line in between them so a transmission line is used for the transmission of electrical power from generating substation that means there is a generating substation that is generating the electrical power to the various distribution units because we need to because if we are generating power we need to obviously distribute it okay now it transmits the wave of voltage and current from one end to the other how uh, basically how it transfers it does not go in here it just basically a sinusoidal voltage and current waveform so and what does it made up of it is made up of a conductor having a uniform cross section along the air okay and air acts as an insulating or dielectric medium between the conductors and because it's a very huge distance between the between the line and the ground so what happens is we need a proper strength a proper sturdiness so that the tower tower can withstand all the things so that's why it is made up of steel for providing high strength to the conductor okay so what are basically two types of transmission lines so the first one is distribution lines that means they are basically distributing your uh, distributing the um, the power generated on the ground substation and next is power transmission lines okay and what are the two types of transmission so there are two types of transmission the ac transmission and dc transmission so first of all i'll just explain you the ac transmission so in your syllabus only the types are because a brief introduction of transmission line is there so there are three types of ac transmission the first one is short transmission lines the second one is medium transmission lines and the third one is long transmission lines so the short transmission lines between if we need to transfer power in between 0 to 80 kilometers okay and uh, and it must be 69 kilowatts okay that means the distance between the sender and the receiver must be in between 0 to 80 kilometers medium transmission line it must be 80 kilometers to 240 kilometers and the voltage must lie between 69 kilovolts to 133 kilovolts okay and next is long transmission line that means it can be 240 kilometers and the voltage can be greater than 133 kilovolts greater than 240 anything anything which the distance more than 240 kilometers can be the long transmission lines can be used and the voltage must be greater than 133 kilovolts okay so basically it's a power generation and the power consumption now next thing is dc transmission so for dc transmission here yeah, 
DC transmission is basically for long distance power transmission okay and basically the why DC transmission is used it is it is less expensive and has low electrical low electrical loss okay but the cost of DC system is higher for short distance is higher for short distance that's why we use DC transmission in long distance power transmission okay so these are basically the DC transmission basically we mainly use the AC transmission there are few if you, if you google the DC transmissions you will find DC transmission in South Africa then you will find some of the DC transmission whatever are used in South Africa okay so these are basically the types of transmission line and its type